Hey gang, Jeff Stone here with day 65 of the year 2015 at magicreviewed.com. Today we got an unboxing. We got a big fat juicy one too. Uh, but first let me just show you. This came in the unboxing, but it's not really part of this unboxing. That is Ocular uh, by uh, Alexis de la Fuente. Uh, I had this. I was going to review it the other day and the disc was bad, so I got another one. So here's the other one. So I'll try to get this one out sooner than the others. Um, anyway, this is a pretty good size list. We're going to just kind of plow through it. And as always, whatever you see that you want me to review first, put a comment in the, in the YouTube section below. Now, I will just tell you this. Due to the contest, which I'm running right now, the YouTube comments are crazy. There are, oh, there's so many of them, and I'm trying to keep up with them. And uh, as I'm going through, I'm finding comments that I somehow missed from some of my unboxings like three or four months ago where people were requesting products and somehow I never saw that comment and now it's showing up now or I'm seeing it now or whatever. So I apologize for that. I'm trying to get to some of those first because I feel bad making those guys wait for three months. Um, and plus I've got already the short list I'm trying to plow through. Um, and I showed you the other day how many stacks of invoices or uh, you know purchase orders I have from Murphy. So I've got tons of those things. So I've got just a cubic buttload of stuff to go through. So I've tried to get to this stuff as fast as I can. Some of the newer, especially the more expensive stuff that has a lot of hype around it, I like to get to those first so I can prevent people from making a rash decision um, based on the hype of the ad copy. Uh, and, and then again, you know, if the hype of the ad copy is fine then, or accurate, then that's fine. But I'm trying to help out there so that you don't waste your money and then go, dang it, I should have watched Jeff's review. I would have been like, yeah, see, I told you. Anyway, so put a comment in the YouTube description below of what you want me to review first. I will get to everything eventually, but I want to go by what you guys want first. So item number one. Um, well, I don't want to touch it. It's called hands-free prediction. So um, here we go. It's There it is. I'm not touching it. Hands-free prediction by uh, Lynx Magic. So, um, yeah, uh, what I should tell you too, by the way, on these, uh, some of these, I don't even know what the effect is and I, I'm not going to bother trying to figure all that out before I do this unboxing video, take way too long. So rather, um, just look at the thing and then just go search for the, um, the, uh, review or the ad trailer for Murphy's or whatever and, uh, or YouTube and then watch the video of the ad of what the product is. And then if you like the, the effect, then let me know that you want me to review it. So, there you go. Uh, this one I know I'm going to get to soon because I want to watch it. And that's Game by Luke Germay. I saw the trailer to it and it just seems impossible. So I want to see if it's really as good as it looks. Uh, we've got, re I don't know if, I think it's called Seven Remastered or Remastered Seven by um, Lyndon Jogglebot. Um, I think that's his name. Anyway, uh, it looks like it's Seven Effects on here. Um, so anyway, that's, if you want me to review that, let me know. Next, we've got Touch by Morgan Strebler slash and or Strebler. I've heard it both ways, said Sean from Psych. No, you haven't, said Gus from Psych. I missed that show. Anyway, that's Touch by Morgan Strebler. Uh, this one's already been requested in a previous place somewhere on my YouTube channel. I don't even know. It's so many of them. Um, so I'll try to get this, this one sooner. And that's Unboxing by Nicholas Lawrence, which is Nicholas Lawrence. So far, the, the, the only two things I've seen from him have been excellent quality. The um, bad news is, is this is a Sands Mines production. And so far, the majority of their stuff, while sometimes the products are good, it's very often that the ad trailer is full of crap. So I'm hoping that because this is Nicholas Lawrence, and he seems to have more integrity than that, um, that they will not have crappy ad trailer because I'm getting tired of yelling at Sans Minds. Got it? Unboxing. Let me know if you want to watch that. Um, Wayne Fox, tab test. Um, this is something I think where you, oh, it's it's like a book test kind of a thing, but it's, it's on the tab of your deck of cards, which here we go. Uh, it's where you have them think of a word on the, that's written on the cards there. And uh, you are able to tell them what the word is. I think that's the effect. Um, the next one up, I'm, I'm interested in this one myself uh, because it, it's Dave Solomon. And, you know, he's been doing magic for years. And he's 
put out several things over the years. I've never owned any of his stuff. I've had, you know, compilation DVDs that had maybe a trick from him or a book that maybe had a trick that was inspired from him or that was his trick or something like that. But I've never really studied his work a lot. And my understanding from what I've heard, and I'm trying to reserve judgment myself, but he's got a lot of great stuff out there. And the effects I've seen I've liked, and I've liked the methods. Um, and so I'm looking forward to sort of getting a little bit more familiar with his work in this particular project. So that's uh, Big Buy Media, the Solomon's Secret Subtleties, Triple S. And uh, Out of Sight, Out of Your Mind by Gary Jones and Magic Tao. No, normally Magic Tao products, they have the little thin DVD cases, but look at that. It's thick. They usually have these little skinny ones like this. This is huge, which means there's probably a gimmick in there. Getting all giddy, like Jojo, the idiot circus boy. <laughs> and his shiny new pet. Uh, I'm going to get that reference. All right, Sherlockian by uh, Titanus and uh, Ben Cardall. Cardall, Cardal, Card something. Uh, I've seen the preview to this. It looks pretty good. And again, it's one of those things where I'm just hoping that it lives up to what they claim. Uh, I believe this is two DVDs in here. So anyway, looking forward to that one. Let me know if you want me to review that next. Uh, this is a part of a series, if you, I think you can call it that, from Big Blind Media, where they've got, so they have the Double Lift Project, the Elmsley Count Project, the False Cuts and Shuffles Project, the Forces Project, uh, now they've got the Controls Project. What I like about this is the other ones that I've seen are awesome. I think I gave them all five stars. But what I like about this is it's they're building a library, like a modern library, of all the good, you know, foundational things. Like the Double Lift Project was amazing. There's so much great stuff in there about that, about the, the Double Lift and, and how it works and how to get into it and out of it. Anyway, I don't want to do a review on that right now because I've already done that. But the point is, if, if all these projects are like that and you own these, you're building a huge, nice collection of reference material that's incredible. And so I'm hoping this one lives up to the same as the other ones, the Controls Project by Big Blind Media. We got Vibe here by Bob Solari. Uh, and I believe I've seen the preview to that, and it's another one of those ones where I'm hoping it lives up to what it's claiming, because it's pretty cool if it is. Um, Destination by Russ Andrews. Uh, I believe this is a follow-up to another DVD that he did, um, I think. or I think it was called Spoken. And I don't know that it's a follow-up, but I think it's a similar concept. Um, I could be totally way off base here, but it seems like that's what I remember. Uh, either way, he's from the UK, so I'm going to test out my my literally theory and see if he uses the word of the day a lot like the rest of the UK guys seem to do. And apparently Jay Sankey too, by the way. Uh, that, that word literally just literally comes up literally like a thousand times, literally, in these UK videos. So anyway, doesn't affect the rating. I just find it interesting. Uh, moving on, we got Euphoria from... Oh, no. I mean... I didn't mean it that way. It's from Vernet, which is great. Their products are usually really good. But it's going to be another one that's in Spanish with that voiceover guy in English, which is what we had yesterday on Manuel Yasser's video where I wanted to explode. Remember that? I think I did explode a little bit right on camera. Yeah. So um, anyway, but Euphoria. It's uh, FISM champion Adrian uh, Guerrera. So, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, it's a, it looks like a stand-up act and then a close-up act. So, that looks like it'll be fun. Hopefully, it's good. Very much looking forward to this one. Early Dobson. I don't know if it's about teaching his effects or just showing his old footage or what. Um, a selection of Wayne Dobson's classic TV, TV performances revealed. So, there you go. Um, I'm just interested in watching the performances. The dude is hilarious. Um, and uh, this is... Uh, I think they even may have chosen a white cover just to make it look a little retro, I think. I don't know. Anyway, I'm looking forward to that. Let me know if you want me to review it first. Um, you got Elit from Peter Egink. And um, this, uh, I'm not exactly sure what this is, but it's got fire and dollar bills and looks like a little revelation there on the dollar bill and cards and all kinds of crazy stuff. So getting all excited again. Anyway, we'll see if it lives up to its claims. Oracle, 
This is another one of those ones, uh, from what I understand, where there's a lot of like, stuff going on while you're performing. Kind of like the Manuel uh, Yasser video from yesterday. Uh, anyway, uh, this is from Titanus and Murphy's Magic. It's called Oracle. I'll be looking, it'll be um, getting to that one pretty soon. I think I've already had a couple requests for that. This one came in a little bit late. Um, we had Wallet Week a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago. And it ended up being like two weeks because I had so many wallets to review. Anyway, this is Daniel Meadows' Cerebral Wallet. Another wallet. We'll see how that one goes. And I'm not going to save it until I build up more wallets. That'll just take too long. Uh, only a couple more left, guys. There's a big old honking box here by Mark Oberon. Incarnation. The ability to manifest thought. Like Green Lantern. <laughs> anyway, let me know if you want to watch that one. If you want that one reviewed. Uh, we got some elegant packaging here from Paul Harris Presents and Bro Gilbert. Uh, this is Wishbone, um, and it's that this one I do know the, what the effect is. It's the one where the two um, co like coffee sticks or, or wooden sticks stick together and they they sort of weld together magically. So anyway, looking forward to that. And that is one that people have requested already. So I'll try to get to that sooner rather than later. Last. I was going to say last but not least, but I don't know that. It might be the very least. It might be the very best. I have no idea. Uh, but it's Ben's Coin Bender, another elegant looking box. Uh, this one's from Sean Fields. And I'm actually going to take this one out and show you. Um, I'm going to cover the access code, but there's uh, let me see if I can do it this way. There we go. Um, there's a little secret password you need to watch the video. But uh, this is the inside of it. And Sean Fields, in his video, the ad trailer, he it reveals what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Nothing more than what he did in his ad trailer. But it's a thing you can carry around with you that allows you to bend uh, coins. Uh, I don't know exactly the mechanics of how it's going to work yet, so I'll watch the video and let you know. Um, and uh, this is actually the one we're going to be reviewing tomorrow. And so on camera, I'm going to bend a coin before your very eyes, um, assuming this thing works like it's supposed to. So there you have it. Anyway, that is it for today, guys. Uh, it's a pretty big unboxing. Anything you want me to review first, put it in the, the comments below and I'll try to get to it before the rest of the stuff in the box. A little patience though, please, because I've got a pretty good stack of other stuff from other unboxings that I'm still working through. And so it might take me a little bit of time to get to some of these. So anyway, but because Ben's was requested already before I got the unboxing and Wishbone, don't even bother requesting those because I'm just going to do them right, right up front in the, the next couple days. Uh, so anyway, that's it. Time to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and listen to the random iTunes song of the moment, which is Paradise by the Dashboard Light by Meatloaf. This one's come up before. Note the pinky. I'm an elegant water bottle drinker. Um, if you don't have Bat Out of Hell by Meatloaf, that needs to be the next piece of music you buy. Get that whole album, Bat Out of Hell. It was put out like in the, I want to say mm, late 70s, mid to late 70s. Bat Out of Hell. It's just a killer album. Anyway, that's it for today, folks. Tune in tomorrow, day 66, where, like I said, we're going to be doing Sean Fields' Benz. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace out. Mm -hmm.